Ben Cohen was a liberal. He was not uh, a um, you know, member of the Communist Party who was uh, aligned with Moscow's policy. I mean, he was someone who got to live in Moscow, learned Russian, did actually a lot of work uh, collecting testimony from um, those uh, from you know members of the intelligentsia who had spent time in the gulags under Stalin, and developed a strong respect for the Russian people, Russian culture. Became actually close to Gorbachev, who is very unpopular uh, in Russia right now, and with good reason. Um, and he imagined sort of a different scenario in which the U.S. had actually would have assisted the Soviet Union in reforming under Gorbachev's watch and allowed it to become more like a social democracy uh, with strong Russian or Soviet character characteristics that was at peace with the West, uh, maintaining its industry and you know the pensions and social benefits that kept so many people alive in a country that would have otherwise been extremely poor. And he referred to what the United States did to the Soviet Union in the 1990s as a crime worse than anything since Vietnam. And he's right, three to five million people in the Soviet Union, particularly in Russia, were essentially killed. They died excess deaths because they were kicked off their pensions. They lost everything. The, the, the Russian state was looted and it was placed under the control of oligarchs and that's the way that the West wants it. That's who, what the West wants for Russia right now. Many of the same people who came up during the Clinton administration are now in charge in the, in the Biden administration. People like Tony Blinken and people working directly under him. They don't. They refuse to accept a Russia that is sovereign or independent. They need it to be balkanized. They want it to be under the control of someone like Yeltsin, who can be easily controlled. And uh, so I think Stephen Cohen articulated the problem, the central problem with the U.S. policy to Russia. And then he got more granular with his analysis of Russiagate and sort of chronicled how the U.S. was taking the, 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 the U.S. national security regime through Russiagate was taking America into a direct conflict with Russia that was arguably more dangerous than the Cold War um, in his in his series of essays, War with Russia. And it's just, you know, if you if you look at if you if you're not that familiar with Stephen Cohen, watch some of his uh, later in his engagements from 2014 on on MSNBC, on CNN, especially where he's jousting with Christian Amanpour, uh, who's Ex-husband Jamie Rubin is now the head of State Department Global Engagement, the propaganda arm of the State Department, just oversaw uh, meta deplatforming RT. Uh, those are seminal engagements. Uh, and Stephen Cohen always gets the best of his opponents. He's always outnumbered, but he's always uh, lucid. Um, so he's definitely a, a model. And he's also one of the last true Russia experts who is able to speak on those platforms. So uh, we're really left with a huge void without him.